Hi there, and welcome to the Knife Nook. Let's see what we've got going on today. All right, today to kick start things off today, we have a case knife, and uh, it just so happens to be the Kickstart Assisted Opening <laughs> Mid Folding Hunter by Case. Um, real quick, uh, why don't you tell us a little something about it? Okay, well, we've got handle material of amber amber bone. Blade length is two point nine o inches. Your lock type is a liner. They've got your True Sharp stainless for your blade material, mirror polish. Your close length is four inches. Your weight is three point seven ounces. This retails at case. It's case itself for about one forty, and uh, you pay extra to get a sheath from them. Thank you for that. You're welcome. All right. All right, guys, you guys are, you guys know about case knives, you know, American made, uh, Bradford, Pennsylvania. I'm sure everyone's seen case knives and know how good they are, especially the older ones. Mm -hmm. I've had a, a lot of the older ones where it seems like the metal is just so much sharper than these newer ones. Um, man, look how thin that blade is. That is really thin. Wow. That's, that's a really thin blade. And then they put the wedge in here, mm -hmm. um, mid folding hunter, I guess. So you could perch your finger up there and get into that material that looks like, you know, engage it so you don't hit any any type of guts or anything like that and any type of, when you're when you're cleaning the game. Yeah, Case says it's uh, perfect for cutting, slicing, carving, chopping, and paring. Wow, yeah, slicing, wow, look how thin that is. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that tip is pretty sensitive. Um, I haven't tested this knife a whole lot. Um, I bought this knife used. Um, this knife retails for, I think, like 140 at Case. Mm -hmm. But you can get it on Amazon for a little bit cheaper. Um, hang on. Amazon, you can get this exact same one for one fifteen with free returns and free delivery if you're a Prime member. So a little bit cheaper. Yeah, that's that's a little better. Mhm. Mm there it is. It says Case Double X USA. Yeah, stainless steel. They actually have a patent on this uh, kickstart opening is, mechanism. So the assisted is called the kickstart, right? The kickstart assisted opening technology, and they actually have a U.S. patent for it. Case wow. does. Cool. So they went through the trouble of uh, safeguarding their invention. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah. They're like, no one else is going to make money from this. Let's see if I can stand that up. Let's just see. Really nice. Um, as you see, guys, here, the fit and finish, I mean... There's no gaps in it at all. It's case. I wouldn't expect there I mean, to be, it's, right? It's smooth. I mean, you hear about stories about it. I mean, they're not like all perfect, but uh, golly, I mean, that's 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 pretty dang that's pretty dang on there when it comes to to evenness with the bolsters. Which once again, those are nickel silver bolsters. Um, looks like you got uh, nickel silver liners in here also. Super smooth, um, like what you expect from case. This pocket clip's a little really large yeah it's really large it's long but it's really soft that's what's really nice about it. it has no problem getting in and out of material um i have pocketed this knife um but i haven't really cut a whole lot of things with it um when i bought this knife it came actually damaged um the guy warned me that it had it was gonna it had a, some type of locking um malfunction and sure enough here let's show that action on this assisted open okay i mean the thing just flies out but uh gorgeous as you see here with that liner lock uh Listen, if you listen close, you guys hear that? A little up and down on it, and actually a little side to side, which is kind of crazy. I know they have like, I want to say a life, a limited lifetime warranty, so I'm yeah. going to have to contact Case about that. Because yeah. for 140 or for 115 I mean, that shouldn't be happening. And like I said, I mean, I, I bought this shoe, so I don't know if, what it, the guy did to it, it. What, what the person did to it. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's still in really good shape. It's it just, is. And for the price that you paid, it just is, he got a really great deal on it. Yeah. For, 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 for what I paid for it, I couldn't pass it up. I had to see what this is about. Um, these old school traditional knives that are getting modernized, they, um, they, they've caught my attention. I know there's a maker out there named Pena or whatever. Um, you guys, I'm sure that you, you knife enthusiasts out there, you guys are familiar with that brand. I would like to check out more of his stuff. I know he does the traditional type stuff with, uh, modernizing it, um, uh, putting all the modern type of, um, 
stuff features, on it, like features, like exactly. Flipper features. tabs. Yeah, the flipper tabs and the and the, the the adjustable pivots and the and the removable scales. I mean, look at this knife. I got this knife off of the cutlery corner here. Give me that box. It says. Yep. Uh, it was from a company called Akoe yeah. River, and it's just like a, I guess a cheap, I, 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 a cheap company. And it's only cost me like, like fifteen twenty yeah, bucks. I was say and that. Uh, the material's fake. It's like a plastic. It's supposed to make it look like this, like a jig bone. But uh, this is like this is what I really like. Um, this trapper style, and this is actually assisted opening too. Um, it comes with a flipper tab, a little liner lock. Um, let's see here, um, the thumb studs. But check this out. I mean, hold on. Yeah, that one had that. I, I haven't messed with this one a whole lot, but it has a uh, an assisted feature on it, mm -hmm. um, liner lock, uh, uh, th a thumb stud, and actually, once again, here, hold this up, phone real quick. Yeah. Um, okay. It actually has dual blades. So, how cool is that? I mean, if Case Knife would have did something like that, you know, that would be sick, man. It's just like, I mean, if Case Knife could do something like this, or Boker could do something like that, it would, to give you the, like you guys know the whole fidget factor. Um, like, um, what's that, Kaiser, the Cormorant. It has all the, like, the trifecta people call it with the top flipper, the back flipper, the front flipper, the, the spidey Bumps flip. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And, and mainly the button lock. And uh, that would be sick, dude, to have something like this. Um, by case. By case, or, or, or just a traditional one, even if it was, in, like, uh, like Boker, but just a... A traditional style knife. Yeah, a traditional style knife. With all the modern fidget elements. Yeah, that would that would be sweet, especially if you could just, you know, you could keep this at the 440 stainless, the main blade, you know, and then change this one out to your your S35 or whatever, the spade blade, you know. That would just be sweet, man, because uh, like I said, this was 15, 20 bucks. I'll do some cut testing with this. I'll cut some paper with this and just show you guys. Uh, you're, get, you're getting that uh, true steel here. Um, what is it? Uh, su true surgical stainless from... Uh, from case knife yeah. on this knife and uh, you just get one blade you get the dual thumb studs but uh, for the price of this I don't know because you could buy let's say here you could get like a stockman like this like a three blade stockman by case or or, or just another like single blade trapper or even a two blade trapper by case that's uh, not assisted and you're gonna pay a, a, a lot less like you know like 70 60 bucks yeah, 60 like 70 bucks and that, you know that's that's like a $50 difference yeah. so are you paying 50 extra dollars for this assisted opening yeah which is cool because if you think about it case doesn't case doesn't do any there's not a whole lot of options with these uh um switch blades i wouldn't call it a switch blade i call it assisted opening but yeah. there's a whole lot of options with these old school Quick knives deploy. so is was it kind of like gimmicky and anyway it makes it collectible it's a case knife in general so it's going to be collectible and you add that feature the assisted feature and it's going to make it even oh, even more collectible see how that bounced back that lock isn't locking up right See that? It just yeah. how it just so I mean for one for one forty from case no way for one fifteen for one fifteen I don't know you know I'm gonna have to send this back and uh, or see or see what it's exactly the lifetime limited warranty entails yeah you know? what why exact what is the limitation right <laughs> exactly, exactly case yeah um but uh we had to find out because we don't necessarily want to give up the knife no I, if, they, yeah, if, they, if they're I, like look we, we can replace it we can't fix it but we can replace it yeah if they could replace it i mean that would be great you know uh, i would i mean that's I that's know, a I, lot of blade play i mean, I mean you can and actually you, hear it i mean and look it just even when you fire it sometimes actually that one locked that up one locked but up that you, time you can hear it yeah i mean and you, sh you shouldn't I mean, you could actually see it i mean yeah Anyways, freaking. Uh, I mean, it's still a great, and it's still a nice knife. I'm glad. I'm glad you got it, babe. I think yeah. you got a great, great. No, deal yeah, on I got it. a great deal on it. Absolutely. Um, like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. So that's why I got it. Actually, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for the green jig bone. That's I like that a lot better. Um, but uh, like I said, for the price, I had, I had to see what it was about. Um, because I, I do want a traditional that that it has ha the fidget factor. Ha has the fidget factor. I just thought it was cool, and I knew it was going to make it collectible. Y'all so, traditional uh, makers out there, give this man a. A look up, <laughs> hit it, hit him up. He he wants a fidget factor. Yeah, uh, I'm just saying. Like, uh, hold on. Let's see here. Let's get this magazine right here oh. from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Actually, like something like that from Case. You know, this these cheetah editions. I mean, just think if if you had something like an assisted one like that, or not even not even an assisted one, but just like uh, not even a switch of that blade like this. You know, but an assisted one. How sick would that be? That would be kind of cool too. That would be. Or uh, let's see here. Let's put this back down. Let's fire that again. There we go. go. <laughs> yeah. Something like that in a, in a cheetah form, or they put the assisted technology on that cheetah. That, that would be sick. With that swing guard, that would be pretty awesome. I would like that. Um, 
or like a, a or a button lock you put a button lock on the seahorse and make it just free swinging and then put these as uh uh like friction folders like slip joints i mean that's what I'm, that would be sick man i mean i i know it's just it's easier said than done there's patents and stuff like that, but I don't know why Case doesn't make this stuff ser serviceable. It's like, I got to send this knife in for something I could probably do myself. If you, you know? just made a slight modification. Yeah, here. because we don't want to give up the old school looking knives. We like them. I think that's why, you know, they... they, they, they they're they, still around. Yeah, they're still around. I mean, I mean the, the feel of them, they have evolved into what they are. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, they just it just works and it feels great. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, so I don't want to get rid of it. I would just love a new updated version of one that has like a lot of the... Fidget features. Yeah, I think that, that is would better be, made. Yeah, that's better made, and I, I don't know. I just think a case right away, you know, that that could do Careful. that. But uh, I know it's easier said than done. And uh, anyway, something like this that would be awesome. If they could do this. Don't have the pocket clip, as we you see. We gonna cut some paper with these. Yeah, we'll cut some paper. Um, what else? Here, here's an old school knife just to show you. Here's like I know this is by Remington, but this is actually a switchblade with two blades. This blade on this side is actually broken, and uh, this blade here. Let's just see here. It doesn't. See, it does fire. It does fire and it does lock. It looks like an old school spade blade, but uh, and it and you can actually lock it like this, and then uh, you just fold it again. Um, that one, that blade's broken, so I don't fold it. I just leave it out. Um, but it, because it, why bother? <laughs> I mean, just just I, lo I love the old school stuff, and it's just yeah. like it seems like it's all coming back. And it, if if it came back and it was just more refined, better. Um, like with serviceable stuff that we can do ourselves. That way, I don't have to buy like twenty of the same case knife. You know what I mean? I don't want to buy 20 of the same case knife if I could just change out the scales. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, I can buy after, you know, like abalone scales and, and, and change them out myself. I don't need to buy a whole nother trapper with abalone scales on it. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I can just buy the new scale. Right. Exactly. That'd be, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah, wouldn't it? Um, that would be cool. I wish they would do something like that. I know they, they came out with that Armorilla and that, that style of new modern type knives and it's great i can't wait to check those knives out too but i don't want to give up on the traditional look and I, I i like the traditional stuff um it would be awesome to have one that had all the fidget factors on it mm -hmm. um here get this slip joint here here you pull that out uh, pull that? yeah um, it's my lion steel i showed recently in another video uh, here actually there's one thing and actually i can open this one actually i'm gonna see one-handed a little assist there with yeah, the a little table, assist but, with the table but this is all <laughs> integral you know, so I like these old school style type of knives, uh, modern design, modern design like this. Um, this this one has a whole integral frame, so you know there's no other screws but the pivot screw. So that's really cool. Um, you guys check out that video on there. Just a little size comparison here. What else we got to compare the size of this knife on? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. My uh, little uh, her little uh, CEO. Mm -hmm. that, that that knife cut me. Yep, it well, did. it didn't cut me. I cut myself. Uh, what yeah. else we got? Um, cut himself with it. I got my Delica around here. Yep. I got my Your old Delica. school uh, G2 Delica. Here, let's make some. Here. Just show you guys just how big this. Just to show you guys just how big this knife is. Your standard yeah. size blade and it is what 3.7 ounces it said yeah yeah so it's, it's, it's so, so it's not heavy it, it can you hold this one yeah it, it weighs the size about uh as much as a leak yeah yeah, yeah. one of those kershaw leaks um it weighs about so it's definitely pocketable mm -hmm. um like i said i have pocketed it um just with this it just it's yeah. irritating. And plus with the, this type of scales and these bolsters, I didn't want to get them scratched up anymore. I have other knives that get more scratched up. That's why I, I got something like this to actually tuck it in here. But, you know, this one actually doesn't fit. So that's why I keep that line steel, even though the line steel is all beat up. But anyways, that was, that was, that was, that was the idea, you know, with these old school knives. You want to protect them and everything. Um, that one because of that flipper tab. But this is made for trapper, but that flipper tab keeps it from going in yeah, there all there. the way. Yeah. But uh, I like how they added the pocket clip. That's cool. And if you guys see here, it's just tipped down, right hand side. So um, yeah, I can't yeah. change it. But it does have the left hand. Let me try here, left opening. Yeah, so it does fire again here. Let's fire it again, left handed. Yeah, I'm right handed, so yeah, I have to use two hands to close it. Anyway, let's get to cutting something. Yeah. Okay. Let's, cut let's do the paper first. Let's move okay. all these knives. I'll, yeah. I'll get these. Yeah. Go ahead and move all those. Mm -hmm. um, all right. You want to hold this camera, and then uh, we also got a cucumber here. We'll try a little cut and right. test, and let's do this paper first. Yeah. And like I said, I bought this knife for you, so here it goes. Here's that action again. Boom. Yeah. Oh, nice action. 
still truly sharp, you know. Mm -hmm. I haven't even strapped this thing or nothing. I mean, so whatever the, that the, the previous owner did with it, uh, it's the, still cutting pretty nice. Yeah, it's still cutting pretty nice. So you know, you're gonna be able to cut envelopes. Cut, let's see that piercing power. Yeah, I mean, no problem. Like I said, you you put your finger on there. You got about wherever you want to gauge it. About let's see here. About yeah, about a half inch inside of any type of game or whatever, you know, press in there. Here, let's, okay, let's try that cucumber. Okay. All right, here, hold this. Yeah, All right. hold the camera. We'll slide this out of the way. And slide this in the frame here. Okay, cool. All right, 15 minutes. Cucumber. All right, real quick, we'll do a little, you want to, here, you, you're better at cutting. So okay. we'll do the cucumber cutting, and I'll do the videotaping. Okay. So, let's see here. We're just going to chop the end off real quick. Yeah, let's chop the end off real quick. Ooh. That was nice. No problem. Look how thin that blade is, man. Yeah, wow. that blade is really thin. So we'll, we'll see how, how thin of a cut first she can get here. Let's see see, see how thin. Okay. That's as thin as you could get it? No, I know no, you get it thinner. I know I can get it thinner. Yeah. You might have to, you might have to hold it to control, do a more control cut. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and try to just go a little faster with it and see how, just bust it out real quick. Boom. Yeah, so... I mean, it wants to so just it, slide through it, there. Yeah, it just wants to slide right off the side. There mm -hmm. it goes. No, it just wants to slide through it. Once you get it through the skin, it's just, I mean... It so a great through. slicer, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah so I mean, all those little EDC... Yeah, let me see. Very thin. Mm -hmm. Let me try that. Let's see here. Yeah, mm-hmm. Very thin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that one just fell down, yeah. Super thin. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Yeah. So uh, I think for the price, you might just... I, I'm not sure if I'd go for it. You know, yeah. The price is a little steep on it. You're just better off just getting a, just a manual, regular one if you want to get that true start. Unless you're a collector. Yeah. I mean, the if collect you're a case collector, I mean, you definitely want to pick one up. Like I said, it's the closest thing case has to a to a, a switchblade. So um, they they make these in two different models, I think, right now. They have the trapper mm -hmm. and they have this. And you know, um, yep. the, I would have got the trapper instead, but uh, the guy had this for sale, so I picked this one up. Um, but if you guys are in the knives. If you're into sharp things, or um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Have a good one. Take a look in the nook, and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.